I want to start with just this notion of how risky this possibly could be for Democrats if the answers, after seeing even more of the report, still come out, no collusion and a question about obstruction. It's not just risky, it's, it's the fact. I mean, Robert Mueller is going to testify to exactly what was in the report. And if my Democratic colleagues would have cared to read the report, it appears that some of them haven't read the report. And I know they haven't read the less redacted report in which the Attorney General made the accommodations for. They'll find that there was no collusion, no charge obstruction, and that it's exactly what Robert Mueller would testify to. I think it is amazing to me here how quickly the Democrats want to go down a path that they know they can't go on simply to have press releases, simply to tar and, and, and sort of throw uh, a dirt at a president that they don't like. This is just unprecedented in this term that they're moving so quickly to a contempt proceeding. So if we are going to hear from Bob Mueller, are you at all concerned about the letter that he sent William Barr or the conversations that they had expressing Bob Mueller's misgivings? Although he did primarily from those conversations blame the media's perception uh, that they have put out there, the narrative. Um, but are you concerned at all that that would come up? No, I'm, I think the media ought to be concerned about it because that's exactly what the letter was concerning. It was concerning how this report was rolled out. It was not about the final findings. This is what everybody wants to rush past. Bob Mueller never questioned the attorney general's findings. He never said that you're wrong. He was just saying, let's get as much out there because the press is manipulating this into something that it's not. And I think that's the, the correlation that we're looking at. And again, at the end of the day, the, the Democrats are simply going after President, frankly, for doing a good job. There's nothing to impeach here. There's nothing to bring any further investigations about. It has been finalized in the Mueller report. They can talk about it all they want. They can bring anybody in they want. But at the end of the day, it is simply them chasing after an election they lost in November 20. And Congressman Collins, I want to hear from the president on this because it seemed to be uh, a shift a bit in terms of who's in charge of whether or not Mueller should testify. Before it was A.G. Barr would make that decision. And then the president said this. Mr. President, should Mueller testify? Would you like to see him testify? I don't know. That's up to our attorney general, who I think has done a fantastic job. Just this weekend, the president saying that he shouldn't testify, Bob Mueller. What's different? Nothing is different except this president expressing the frustration of not only himself, but of millions of people in America who are tired of the Democrats' demagoguery over this. They're tired of the Democratic circus. And all you have to do is watch my chairman try to lead a committee through a, what was really turned into nothing but a travesty last week when they can't even decide what they want. They're rushing. This is 12 times. I want to put it in perspective for you, Harris. They're mm -hmm. doing this 12 times faster than the Republicans held Eric Holder in contempt. Over 460-something days before the Republicans held Eric Holder in contempt for not complying with subpoenas. We're looking at less than 43 days here. My question is, is are you, are, do you dislike the president that much? Do you dislike the findings of the Mueller report that much that you're trying to solve every other way to get the American public focused on the fact that you don't have an agenda for America, that you don't have anything to put forward, and you would rather just attack this president, who is, by the way, look at the economy. Look at the lowest unemployment in 50 years. Look at all the things that are happening. They want to distract you from that to focus on something they know has already been set in the report. Well, and my question would be, who are they advocating for? Can we pop up that NBC Washington, um, or rather Wall Street Journal poll, which shows that the Mueller report has not changed Americans' minds at all about no. whether it clears the president of wrongdoing? I mean, the numbers are solidly the same. So what is the advocacy here by Democrats? The advocacy is for a 2020 election. They have very, they have very liberal candidates who do not match with middle America. They do not match with the conservative and, and also just the independent voters in this country. They know that their, their message is off, so they're trying to distract and they're trying to tear down a president. By doing so, they're also trying to tear down an attorney general who made the right call, who presented everything that he was supposed to. At this point in time, the, the question is, is, is how many Democrats will they go after? How many people the Democratic Party will try to go after to make their point? And what we're finding right now is as long as it's against the president, they don't care. All and right. again, they're rushing to judgment. I, I want to get this in, though. Some uh, Republicans with whom I've spoken say that they do have a couple of questions, though, for Bob Mueller. And, and bringing him up would not be a problem at all because they do want to know, <laughs> why didn't you fall up or down on obstruction? Oh, th thank you for that. I mean, I want to ask Bob Mueller. I want to know uh, not only the obstruction issue, but I want to go back to further. Well, did he actually go through the basis for this investigation? Did he actually dig into the underlying evidence of what we've seen from the cabal of Strzok and Page and Comey and going back into how we got to the Russia investigation at all? We see a little bit of it in the Mueller report, but my question is, did you question how this even started? And mm. if so, how did you do it? This is where it goes back to. This was nothing but a bunch of, of folks that we you and I have talked about and many others through the transcripts we've released 
case that say there was a problem in the whole beginning here. Bob Mueller could answer a lot of those questions, and that's the question I want to answer him. He's already answered the final. No collusion, no charge of obstruction. Well, we have the I, I want to go back and... Exactly. I want to go back and find out what did he do on the, on the proceeding. And I know end. from Kellyanne Conway, special counselor to the president, that that's how they see it, that Mueller's already spoken. But you agree that there are some further questions that could be asked if he testified. Representative Collins, always great to see you. Thank you for being with me. Thanks, Harris. Good to be with you as well.